Section 2. Docker Swarm. In this section, we are going to take a look at what is Docker Swarm and how it works, building Docker Swarm cluster, Docker security, Docker routing mesh, Docker overlay network, and deploy and scale a service. What is Docker Swarm and how it works? In this video, we are going to take a look at what is Docker Swarm, what is a node, and how Swarm works. So, Docker Swarm is the cluster management and orchestration feature embedded in the Docker engine, are built using SwarmKit. SwarmKit is one project inside of the Docker ecosystem and it's built in inside of the Docker engine. The Docker engines participating in a cluster are running in a Swarm mode. You enable Swarm mode for one engine by either initializing a Swarm or joining an existing Swarm. A Swarm is a cluster of Docker engines or nodes where you deploy services. And uh, what is a node? A node is an instance of the Docker engine participating in the Swarm. You can also think of this as a Docker node. You can run one or more nodes on a single physical computer or cloud server. But production Swarm deployments typically include Docker nodes distributed across multiple physical and cloud machines. And why? Why we should distribute it? We should distribute it because of highly availability. We are going to discuss a lot of this in the next videos and how to have a high availability in your cluster. But now, how Swarm works? So we understand what is a node, but I'd like to introduce you two kinds of nodes. We have two possibilities inside of Docker Swarm. We have Docker Manager and we have Worker. We have these two types of nodes inside of our cluster. Let's start with the Manager nodes. The Manager nodes handle cluster managed tasks such as maintaining cluster state, scheduling services, and serving Swarm mode HTTP API endpoints. Also, we have this internal distributed state store. So, Docker Manager is using a Raft implementation, so it's a protocol. The managers maintain a consistent internal state of the entire swarm and all the services run on it. And because of this internal distributed state store, they know where and how many replicas or services should run inside of my cluster. Before, when you want to run Docker Swarm, you had to use etcd or console as a distributed key manager. But now, because of this implementation, you don't have to use this more. And what is the role of the worker? Worker nodes are also instances of Docker engine whose the purpose is to execute containers. Workers don't participate in the raft distributed state, so the worker doesn't know the states of all the tasks running on the cluster. And they don't make scheduling decisions or serve the swarm mode HTTP. They just run the services that we want to run. In the next video, we are going to build a Docker Swarm cluster.